Mm. Right. This is Coogan Cassis for Eiffel TV in association with Mac Jim Marbell at the Copper Box here. Uh, Open the show tonight with his pro debut, explosive first round win over Kissy Jack. Uh, Nathan Gorman, we can't ask for a better start to your pro career than that. No, no, no I was happy with it. Yeah, first round knockout. He was an experienced kid. Um, he's boxed some always box, Huey Fury's box, Joshua. And to be in a big arena like this, big stage, it was good atmosphere and I enjoyed it. Rick, how do you assist uh, the performance in one round? Absolutely made up. You know, he, 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 he listens to everything you tell him, not just only in the gym. But you know, in, in the ring, everything I said to him before the fight, you know, start using your jab first. I said, if you start stumbling in, you know, step back, step back and nailed him with the left. You, you know, you forget he's only, that's only his third fight, and you know, he only had 12 fights as an amateur, you know, and he's moving like he's been at the game, you know, for, you know, for years. So, I'm, you know, couldn't be any, couldn't be any happier, couldn't be any happier. And you know, we haven't even scraped the surface, you know what I mean? He's only been boxing probably three years. You know, it's incredible to think, you know, when uh, very excited for him, yeah. Obviously, your first fight is all about just getting it out of the way because you can't yeah, tell a lot from from that. Uh, but you can't ask for more than that. But is it about getting in rounds for you now, Nathan, and obviously getting in, in as many fights as you can? Yeah, get, get as many fights as you can and just keep winning. Just keep winning. That's what I want to do this year. Just keep winning, build up the record. Mm. Yeah, they'll fight. They'll fight again in Warsaw uh, in a couple um, two weeks today. Two weeks today, to yeah. be honest. You know, so. Uh, when I was with Frank, uh, Frank Warren, <laughs> I had nine fights in my first year. I think there's nothing better than you know, you know, fighting and fighting, you know, earning while you're learning. And uh, certainly on big, big bills like like this, and you know, in front of Box Nation and, and stuff like that, you know, uh, I think you know every time the, the fight fans see him, they're going to be impressed by him. He's going to get better all the time. I, 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 the first time I saw him, I was shell shocked. He'd only been boxing about two years, you know what I mean? So we haven't even started yet, but he looks like a seasoned pro after all three fights, you know, and uh, yeah, things are going well. Mm. Are you going to look to fast track him, Rick, and you know, just push him in, into as many fights as possible? No, this year? I mean, yeah, as many fights as possible. His next fight, he'll do a six rounder, but I ain't going to, I ain't going to fast track him. You know what I mean? We, uh, the key thing is, he's only, he only had twelve amateur fights. He's only had three pro fights. Um, it'd be foolish to, to fast track him. Well, you know, I've learned a lot from, from boxing over the years. We're working with some of the best promoters in the world, such as Frank Warren and Golden Boy, and all of them people, you know, I think I've got a good idea of how to bring him along and at what stage and with what type of opponent, so he's in good hands, you know, I mean, uh, if, you're, if you're good enough, you're good enough, but I'd, ideally I'd like it to be a slow progress with loads of fights, um, but you know, the way he's improving, we'll just have to see how it goes. Nathan, you're obviously, your family's steeped in fighting history uh, right. from many, many years, that's right, yeah. um, like I said, this is uh, sort of the next generation, next generation of the Gormans. Yeah, that's right, yeah, I'm going to pick up where Bartley left off. So just keep winning. That's my aim. Just keep winning. Mm. You obviously <coughs> take some inspiration from Tyson Fury. I know he was at the press conference with him recently, but he, um, you know, he's got his rematch with Vladimir Klitschko coming up in, yeah. in July. You must take some inspiration from him. Yeah, of course I do. He's he done the impossible to go over to Vladimir's backhand and put a performance on like that. So yeah, he's inspirational. Tyson is. Yeah. Mm. That's my aim. Yeah, it's good for Nathan to be around. People, <laughs> you know, at the press conference every week. You know, with with Tyson being around people like Tyson Fury and being on bills you know such as such as this because you know I believe this fellow you know in a few years time he's you know he was on the first bout and there was there was, there was, only, there was only people sweeping up weren't they yeah. <laughs> in there but it won't be long before he's, he's filling bills like this I, I firmly believe that and I wouldn't I wouldn't stick my neck on the line for it to be chopped off I really wouldn't mm. I think he's going places are you in need of any sparring partners <laughs> he won't, you know, he, he can spar with me, but he won't give the weight away. <laughs> I'm saying I'm available for a fee. <laughs> I'll let him not fuck out you for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, Nathan, congratulations. Cheers, uh, great Thank debut you. for you to, uh, today, you. should I say. It's only early, but um, listen, I'm sure as your fights yeah. uh, get more into it, you'll be, uh, yeah. you'll be topping bills Cheers, in the next sort of few Always. years. So Cheers, Best Thank of you, luck, mate. Cheers. Thank you.